You've just turned 62. I thought I should write as one of your citizens. Just a friendly reminder. You'll get to know why shortly. In Nigerian patterns, this will be termed disrespectful. I hope you understand. I don't mean to be. Good thing is that I'm too old to be smacked. In human years, depending on what side your fate lies, you either have eight years to the grave or 18 years, whichever way you are officially old. Growing up, I wanted to be older. I knew I was being cheated by not being older. Everything was on the side of being older. Alas, I didn't know that came with huge responsibilities. Same thing with you, Mama. Being a country at 62, a huge lot has been expected of you. And you've let me down. I'm speaking of myself, who, out of 220 million citizens, everyone should address their issues with you. <laughs> Why do you think at 62 you should still be irresponsible, reckless, unaccountable, destroyer of people's destinies, etc., etc.? I could go on, but I want to remain respectful. I'm not saying that you haven't treated me well at times. Ah, to even tell the truth, we have had some amazing times, but I would love it to be more. Mama, why are we still poor? Groaning under the weight of insecurity, the mantra of bad roads, corruption, ballooning inflation, confused forex market, premature deaths, and the list goes on. I'm livid at you. But wait, are you to blame? Am I to blame? Or are we all to blame? For how you turned out. Should people be blamed for how I turned out as an adult? In the long run, I've discovered the answer is no. But for you, the jury is still out. But come on, you're an old woman. You should be wise with your children and your children's children sitting around your knees and you leaving an inheritance for them. I guess yours is a peculiar situation because we make up who you are. Hmm. So I am the foolish one at 62. I am the one who has prevented my children and children's children from sitting around my knees. Hmm. I am the one not leaving an inheritance for them. Despite all the facets where I have contributed to being a laughing stock at 62, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not Japan. I'm staying to be part of it is never too late. Colonel Sanders showed us that much. Mama Nigeria, we can still do this. One citizen at a time. I love you, what's and all. Happy birthday. Comfort. Wow. Over to you guys. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This, you, this you is know, interesting. This is, <laughs> uh, you, you know what I like about it is how you ended it. Mm. Saying, you started as a typical Nigerian, complaining about everything, mm -hmm. saying that nothing is working, this is not right, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you ended up by giving hope, by taking decisions, guiding us on what to do. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll just answer this with uh, something that happened a few weeks, about a few weeks ago. I was on a bike in my area. I take bikes when I'm in my area. Driving in Lagos could be hell with the mm -hmm. bad roads. Mm -hmm. So I was on a bike and... The bike man was speeding, drove, was driving in front of car. So at the point I cautioned him, he ignored. I cautioned him, he shouted, if I'll get down, all that. Then he slowed down. He kept driving, I stopped him again. And he just, now his senses, I think where he kept it, everything came back. So he was driving. You know the normal way you get to a junction, a car crosses them, mm -hmm. and they maneuver just to make a way around. And the guy got there, the car crossed, and he stopped. He didn't move. Another bike that was coming, expected him to maneuver, got there, so it wasn't moving. Then he hooted, pam, pam, and you know, look at, look at him, one phone with that, move, let's go. The, my bike man looked at the guy and looked the way and waited for the car to pass. Mm. Now, what have I done? I've cautioned him yeah. not to drive recklessly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been able to do yes. that. Rather than sit down and blame last month, Lagos State government, bad roads, everything, I just played my own role. Now, imagine everybody in Lagos does that to an Okada. How do you think we still have mad or cadre people on the streets? Mm. So that's what I Very like about what you said, that everybody has a role to play. Government is failing. Mm -hmm. But in our own bit, let's just do our own little thing exactly. and make an impact. Exactly.
Yes. Exactly. So I, I quite agree Please with you. Ahead. So I, I want to come in from the, the aspect of the jackpot mm. because people complain and say they want to seek a, a greener pasture. Mm. Yeah. So mm. if you jackpot, who is going to build your home? Mm. And when you jackpot again, you can see what is happening in Dubai. What is happening in some other uh, uh, European countries? What that we take there? It is our, our, our ideology. So it doesn't change mm. who we are. So I think our orientation of our ideology, just like what you say, mm. is our ideology, understanding of our ideology mm. that actually really matters. So for us to have a better country, we need to rethink our ideology and not being a pity ideology or being dependent on government. We should have that to do. I want to do this. I can do this. I also have to contribute to either the good or the bad mm. aspect of this country. Mm. So our ideology needs to change. You know, I, I kept on getting, I get, I kept on getting people asking me, uh, you know, aren't you leaving? Uh, when are you leaving? Oh, I thought you had already left the country. And I kept on looking at them and saying, to where? Do you realize how much of a, a madam and a queen yeah. and a goddess I am in this country? How, where, where, where do you want me to start from? In as much as the country is facing its challenges and all, I am part of the problem, but I can also be part of the solution. And the solution for me is not running away. For me, it's not. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm still willing to stay back, honestly, and do my part. And, and that is just the clarion call. That for those of us who have decided to stay back, it's not for us to stay back and be complaining, as you said, and shouting and pointing fingers. No, it is to do what you did. You know, no matter how difficult or painful or, 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 or you know, how you not get a thank you for anything you do for your country, I do, you shall do your part. You know, place that building block. As you said, that Okada man, hopefully that experience will stay with him and it will improve his life going forward and he'll be able to influence others. So one citizen at a time. That you get on the advocate the end always seems to come too soon that's the kind of information you have on the advocate but the end always seems to come too soon on this program the advocate however the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on facebook plus tv africa hashtag the advocate ng or on twitter and instagram at plus tv africa hashtag the advocate ng to catch up with previous broadcasts, visit our website, plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Until next week, do have yourself a wonderful time. Bye-bye.